Hello, YouTubes. How's everyone doing tonight? So last year, 2018, in June, I had surgery to repair two different hernias, one on either side. They were inguinal hernias. And a brief definition of that is that I had a hole, two holes, in my belly where I would sneeze and guts would come out of. Uh, I would not recommend having a hernia or two of them at the same time. Definitely avoid that if you can. And if you do have them, figure out some way to get surgery to fix them because life without them is way, way better than life with them. So all that aside, how are you? How's your evening going? Did you have a good week? I did. I had a pretty good week. I put up some numbers in the gym that I didn't think would be possible so early, I guess, into training. So I had surgery in June. You go through a recovery path of about two months, and you get to August, and that's when I can start lifting with weights. That's when the doctor gives you the go-ahead, but I definitely didn't do anything before that. Uh, I was very safe. So I start working out last August, and now it's the beginning of March, and I'm in a place where my, my main lifts, the squat, deadlift, overhead press... I guess bench. You can throw on bench. I never like benching. I'm not a big chess guy. It's it's fun. I like incline more. I like overhead press way more. Um, I'm more of a back kind of guy. I like rows, man. I like pull-ups. I Chess is just like, it's cool. It's nice to have. But your back, you got a strong back, you're a strong person. <laughs> you can pick up more. Uh, I always like picking weight up off the floor way more than anything else. Like the deadlift. Oh, hey, man. Best lift ever. I could deadlift all day, every day. Die happy, man. Um, yeah, so besides all that, all the main lifts are going up in, in weight of what I can actually lift in, in a satisfactory way. I'm very happy about that. Uh, my three-mile time is down now to 20 minutes. I'm very happy about that because I want to be fast and I want to be strong. I don't have to lift this car. But I want my body to be capable. I want to be capable of doing anything in my daily life that I'm going to run into that needs to be done. So it's not just a situation of, can I sprint this block and catch up with the guy that just stole my wife's purse? Yeah, I can do that. Can I chase him for a mile? Yes. In fact, I can chase him for three. And I'll probably catch him before the three miles is up. Uh, when, when the grand piano falls on grandma... I could pick it back up off of grandma because she has mixed feelings about the whole thing. Um, comment down below if you know that joke. That's actually not my joke. It's a stand-up comedians. It's pretty good. So my strength standards are such that I want to be strong. I want to be fast. I want to have good endurance. I want to be kind of a jack of all trades when it comes to my physical health because life will throw curveballs Constantly. I ended up with hernias. I, what did I do? I like sneezed too hard. I had had bad like bracing form when I was squatting a few years ago. I have no idea. No idea. But life will throw you curveballs that you aren't expecting and you're going to need to stand up and rise to the challenge. And I want to look back when I'm 80 years old and, and know that I pushed myself to and passed through my limits. I became more capable via my own actions. And that is the point of this whole video. That is what I learned. The most valuable thing I learned from having hernias and having them repaired was that my youthful energy levels, they're going to go away as I age. The same way my youthful capabilities will go away. My health will go away. None of these things are promised to me. None of these things are guarantees. When you're sick long enough, or injured, you forget what it's like to be healthy. And it's frustrating because you're no longer capable of the things you know you could once do because you're hurt somehow. And when you experience that at a younger age, like I did it for myself, I, you realize that getting older might not be as pleasant <laughs> as, as being young is. Think of the people in your life who are a little older and they're always complaining like, oh man, 
I wish I was 20 years younger or I had your energy or, or I was young again. Youth is wasted on the young. Isn't that how the phrase goes? And I don't want to look back and feel that way. I want to look back and know I gave it my all. And I, I make that 80 year old self the most healthy self possible. That's what I want for me. That's what I, that's what I want for my life. Those biggest lessons from having these hernias was to not waste my time, to not allow myself to be stuck in a career that doesn't fit, to chase a dream that isn't mine, to not push past my physical limits and really know what it's like to, to be amazing, to feel amazing in your own body. I refuse to live a life of compromise and at the time where I was at, I was in a career I didn't like. I was, I was in an area I wasn't satisfied in being. I wasn't physically where I wanted to be. I was very lonely in a lot of ways. Like my friend circle wasn't supporting me in, in the ways I needed. Why? How did I get to that place? Because compromise again and again and again. And compromise is necessary. In, in, in lots of relationships, you're going to have to compromise. But when you compromise with yourself, when you have some kind of goal, you want to get from A to B, and you, and you decide to stop at like A.5 on your way to B, you, you decide, you know what, B might be a little far out of the way. So I'll just stop here, and this is good enough. And you do that enough times, and then you look around, and you realize that your life is now a prison. It's no longer a life. It's no longer what you want for yourself. And I decided once those hernias were fixed, no, I refuse to live my life that way. I refuse to just accept what's around me. And I'm like, yeah, good enough. No, 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 no. It's not good enough. It's either great awesome or needs a little more work that's it because i i refuse to look back on my life and feel regret because i didn't give it everything i had and that is exactly what i learned from having hernias and getting them fixed so thank you thank you to that terrible experience of of having holes in your guts Thank you for teaching me that lesson to not settle. Now I will go through life and push myself. And I will achieve what I want to achieve. Hopefully, you can learn the same without having yourself cut in two. Without having to go through a similar injury. I hope this finds you well. Enjoy your evening. Thank you so much for your time watching this. Have a great night. And if I may.